Hey guys and gals, James Stacey here with the blog to watch.com and today we're taking a look at a watch and a couple of really cool accessories from a brand called Schofield, which is from England. Uh, so this is the uh, box that the Schofield Signalman GMT PR, we have the DLC version here, uh, ships in. It's this beautiful black box. Uh, presentation is key and details to the uh, Schofield brand. And what you have here underneath is uh, the tool and the watch itself. Here's the uh, Schofield. Signalman DLC. Don't be a dummy like me and call him Showfield. It's definitely Schofield. And this is the DLC version, limited to 100 units. The polished steel is uh, 300 units. This watch has been around for a couple of years. And uh, it's really one of the more interesting watches that I've come across in kind of the sports segment. And it exemplifies a very, very strong uh, singular design. A design that's uh, bred from uh, the passion and kind of the uh, English heritage in manufacturing all expressed through the owner of the Schofield brand, Giles Ellis. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this box out of the way and we'll show you the watch, and then we're actually going to take a look at two really cool collaborative accessories that uh, are also sold under the same brand and really tie in nicely with the watches and the designs. Okay, and here's the Signalman DLC up a little closer. What we're looking at is a 44 millimeter steel case. It's 15 millimeters thick. And you're looking at um, a weight of plus or minus depending on the strap. And I'll show you some cool ones in a minute. About 130 to 135 grams um, on this black Indian rubber strap. 132 grams. Very wearable. 52 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, so it's a little bigger than, say, a small diver. But for a watch with a 44 millimeter width, 52 is very fair. This wears very similar to something like a Halios Laguna. Um, really great uh, matte black DLC coating. This is easily the nicest DLC coating I've ever seen on a watch. It, uh, it carries um, a slightly brownish hue in daylight, but otherwise it's jet black, very much like uh, that stealth fighter Teflon look. No polished elements, which you've uh, certainly seen on other sport watches, a polished DLC from you know high-end uh, G-Shocks and uh, options from Seiko. Uh, not like that at all. You get the polished crown, oversized crown, which is gorgeous. And you get this beautiful dial. The uh, case design is meant to be reminiscent of uh, 18th and 19th century lighthouses. Now, uh, Schofield hails from Sussex, which is in the south uh, by the coast of England. And uh, lighthouses all in that area, which have influenced the design. So you get this beautiful wide set base that cuts inward and comes to this top part. Look at the way the lugs integrate into that shape. Very strong lugs, but a very complex manner in which they connect with the rest of the case. You get a nice uh, screwed bar for the lugs. Uh, strap changes are integral on this design, and uh, it's something that's done very well, easily managed with uh, two screwdrivers. The Signalman is powered by a Soprod 9335, which uh, starts out its life as a base A10 movement, an excellent movement um, from uh, Swiss Soprod. And what you're looking at with the additional complications in the 9335 is, again, the power reserve up at the top and down below uh, this really great uh, GMT display. And what you're looking at, uh, while the minute track actually overlaps with the GMT display, the uh, dial is so well balanced that the uh, markers for the GMT display are the same spacing as the markers for the minute display. So that track is actually still perfectly legible. Uh, you just actually don't have the numbers there uh, to help with reading it. But as far as actually tracking a second time zone, the scale remains the same as the GMT scale runs underneath the minute scale, which is pretty cool. To advance the GMT feature, which is actually uh, tied to the crown, if you change the main time, you'll also advance the GMT. So not great for a really ardent traveler if you're jumping a lot of time zones. But otherwise, to advance the GMT hand in separately, you actually use uh, an included tool or perhaps uh, you know a toothpick or something. There's an inset case button here. Just like that, you've able to advance it. Pretty simple that way. The Signalman is also quite protective of its movement. Uh, not only is the watch 500 meters water resistant with its screw down crown, but the movement is also secured within an anti-magnetic movement mount uh, within the steel case. So really a nice piece of kit, uh, a beautiful design, and a fairly reliable uh, and nicely made Swiss movement. So here's the Signalman DLC on wrist. Uh, I have about a six and a half, seven inch wrist, and I think it fits perfectly. Um, it's a gorgeous watch. I've experienced both the 
polished steel version and now the DLC version. And while I have to say that the DLC is definitely my favorite, um, both watches, uh, regardless of the finish, present a wrist presence that's very hard to compare to another brand. Um, the aesthetic promoted not only by uh, the Schofield Signalman, but all of their accessories and the straps, which I'll show you in a moment, um, very distinctive look and feel and, uh, and, and a very high level of attention to detail, which is great. Um, you are looking at a price point that pushes up into the Panerai, IWC, even Rolex ranges at about just a hair over 4,000 uh, British pounds, so about 6,120 US dollars at today's rate. Uh, so it's not a cheap watch, um, but again, uh, luxury to luxury, I really like the, the Signalman a lot, and I think that uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of happy buyers um, who are able to uh, secure one of the total 400 that are being made. Ultimately, I think the decision to go with a watch like the Schofield Signalman is going to be one based as to whether or not you're able to connect with the aesthetic promoted by the brand. Uh, no committees have laid their hands on this design. Uh, it's very much a unified, holistic approach to the luxury watch experience. I'm going to show you some of that in a moment. Uh, but as far as the watch goes, this is the core of the brand, and you're looking at the uh, Schofield Signalman DLC GMT PR. Uh, just a really cool watch and not really like anything else out there. Um, so let's take a look at what, what else Schofield has to offer. So here's the first of uh, two accessories I'd like to show you from Schofield. This is their strap kit. It's available exclusively to Signalman owners, Schofield customers. Um, inside, there's a range of straps which are widely available on their site. Uh, but the kit itself that you're seeing here is available only to uh, Signalman owners. Uh, this was made in conjunction with Crojack, which is a, uh, a menswear brand based out of England. It's all made in England from uh, Moon Mills Tweed. And uh, it's not really like... Uh, a watch accessory I've seen before. Generally, you're used to, I don't know, maybe keychains or uh, sunglasses or something silly like that. This is a very much a watch-oriented accessory, and uh, you get these uh, beautiful patches all designed by Schofield. Great uh, big swath of uh, tweed, and then uh, with it all opened up, you've got space for eight straps, uh, all your tools, and uh, Really, uh, it also comes all boxed up in a really amazing uh, piece of packaging. I'll show you that in a moment, or you can stop by the review on a blogtowatch.com to get a picture um, of kind of the total package, that, that whole kind of holistic view uh, that they have towards uh, the presentation of their products. Uh, so this is basically the strap kit. It would make changing any strap a real occasion, and uh, I think it suits the signalman. It all kind of fits in line with that kind of rustic, nautical, kind of old world appeal and uh, what we'll do now is just take a quick look at a few of the straps that came uh, in with this. Uh, all these straps are available separately. They range from 105 to 140 British pounds. Um, while that may at first seem expensive for a strap, if you've ever bought an OEM strap, uh, they can often cost uh, you know much more than $225, $250. And uh, these are some of the more amazing straps I've ever come across and that's coming from someone who truly loves a good watch strap. Uh, so the first we're seeing here is a gray Moon Mills Tweed. Um, really cool, um, kind of a rustic feel. Uh, quite soft, but still has that kind of uh, fuzzy feel of tweed. Uh, definitely a kind of professorial look for your signalman. We also have the same in green. Also a Moon Mills Tweed. This one looks really cool on the watch itself. That. Here we've got a blue waxed cotton, and it also comes in a green that you can see here. I have a jacket that's almost this exact color in wax cotton. Uh, great material, fairly soft, certainly very durable, and uh, I love the navy blue. This would look amazing on the polished uh, signalman, and uh, really just a very nicely made, high quality strap in a cool material. Got a black shark skin, nice and smooth, look great on either version. Here we've got two uh, different uh, versions, a pale earth and a bronze ventile cotton strap. I don't know what makes uh, ventile cotton different than other cottons or what specifically makes it a ventile cotton, but uh, these are really smooth, really soft, really nice uh, tactile uh, straps with um, a big pad in them and uh, really comfy, really beautifully made and 
like the others, all fully lined and signed. And my favorite is actually the one uh, you would have seen in the review. This is the uh, black Indian rubber strap. Um, velvety soft, fully water resistant. Probably one of my most favorite straps I've ever come across um, on any watch. And certainly if they offered it in a 22 or a 20 millimeter size, I would be forced to buy one. I wouldn't have a choice. I really love this strap. Superbly comfortable, very thin, and uh, nice matte finish. And it's just, it just feels great. Really nice stuff, definitely worth the uh, the price that they're asking. And what we'll do now is we'll take a quick look at the uh, watch wallet, which I think uh, most of you guys will find really cool. Okay, and this is the final stop on our Schofield tour. This is the Schofield and Churchby watch wallet. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing Churchby correctly. I'm doing my best. Uh, so uh, this is Schofield's collaboration with uh, the Churchby brand. They're a bag and accessory brand from England that frequently uses tweed and leather. Um... This is the uh, box that it comes packaged up in. I think it's really great. This is uh, original artwork uh, from Giles at uh, Schofield. Nice details here. When you open it up, you get some uh, like Harbor Tide Signals chart. Really cool stuff. Great details. Um, inside, you get uh, you know, some tags. And then we come down to the actual watch wallet. I haven't really seen a watch accessory like this before, but I'll be nice and brief. Um, what you're looking at is uh, kind of a large wallet uh, to hold two to three watches, um, maybe a passport, some cash, boarding passes, or other small valuable items when you're traveling, or even just leaving the house with more than you could, say, put on one wrist or fit in a pocket. Um, the exterior is vegetable tanned leather. Um, it's English saddle leather from Clayton Tannery in England. Um, it's a, a dark brown. Uh, you get a Schofield kind of logo here, and then a uh, fair winds and a following C, uh, one of the kind of the mottos or brands, branding uh, that Schofield uses. Up top, you've got a plastic zipper. For those of you who are worried about scratches, it is a plastic zipper. It's just bronze effect, beautiful red detailing. The leather's quite thick. Um, it's a matte brown and uh, has a great weight to it. Open this up here. Okay, now inside, uh, Typical Schofield attention to uh, kind of details and kind of cool materials. You've got pockets that all have a different lining. So two of the pockets use a Herdwick number 10 gray tweed. We saw that on one of the straps. We have a pocket here which uses uh, sailcloth, vintage sailcloth from the 1950s. It'll have original tool marks um, and, and wear. Uh, that's really cool. Amazingly soft. Great place to keep a valuable item or, uh, you know, kind of a fragile item. And uh, lastly, uh, and that's where I've got the signalman here, uh, this uh, fourth pocket is done up in uh, Moon Mills Red Number 15 Tweed. Um, amazingly soft, really cool. And again, uh, the only reason I'm really showing you these things is I haven't really seen something like them. Beautifully made, a good example of what a luxury product should be. I think this is gorgeous. Uh, and uh, a really neat accessory, whether or not you're a Schofield owner, uh, if you travel frequently with watches, if you uh, maybe attend a collector meeting once a week down at the bar, this would be a pretty cool way to bring the watches to and from. And uh, it's not, again, it's not really like anything I've, uh, I've seen before. I've seen watch wallets, I've seen travel cases, uh, but this uh, kind of elicits a different feel. And uh, it certainly has a price tag to go with it. You're looking at 468 British pounds, or at today's rate, about $710, made in extremely limited numbers all English made, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, this much cool has a price. So that's been uh, my tour of the uh, Schofield brand. We've got the uh, Signalman DLC, really great watch, you know, German, uh, German made, English designed, and Swiss powered, so you can't go wrong there, and a couple of really cool accessories. For blog my name is James Stacy. Thanks very much for watching.